Hey guys, what is up? And today we're going to share the top 10 most best games for people who are looking to play. So, first, let's say Blotsburg. Here we actually have my Blotsburg house, it's not that good. But Blotsburg is a huge target in the Roblox community. A lot of people play it. Sometimes people love to roleplay. Sometimes they just do it for life simulation. And it's really nice. You, I mean, you have to... It's kind of like The Sims. You gotta take care of your own character. You gotta take care of everything. So, that was, of course, Blotsburg. Uh, the video can't be too long, though, but I already gave a pretty brief description of Blot. Hmm. Now, we need to also teach you a little bit about the mechanics and how it works and stuff. So, you just started. Pretend this ain't your starter house, okay? You Instead, you start in some other house. You don't know what the heck you're doing in life. You walk... Or you just sell parts of your house. And then you press E. You press build mode. And you buy a bike. That's what I did. I I bought a bike when I first started. So I would have travel instead of walking. And uh, yeah. Because walking actually takes really long, and I recommend if you, if you're walking back from home, just use your like your pizza moped. So, anyways, I'm not gonna walk all the way there, but that's pretty much Blotsburg. There's places to walk, and I am kind of a new Blotsburg player, so I don't. Well, I've been playing Blotsburg for years, but I have like one million different accounts, which I forgot about. So, I don't really know what the heck I'm doing here, but, like, here, let's go to the next games. Here's actually not top ten, top five games. Next, we have, and remember, Blotsburg cost, I think, 80 robots. Next, we have Bot Commando. This is the most detailed and fun game. It's not detailed, but it's really fun to me. <sighs> have you ever wanted to see? Have you ever wanted to command bots? Well, in this game, you do. So you press play. I'm sure when you're a new player, you gotta go through the tutorial. So you say. So you probably will learn all the commands. It's when you are. Uh, when you force play. But to get your bots, you, fre you press refresh bots. To make the march, you say march. So look. So this is my company. They follow me. Oh, you, you don't like this type of, of thing? Put them in an the arrow. But anyway, so here we go. We just go full on. And then what you do is see this little thing right there. You click on it. And you got to make the bots ready. You got to press present. Then you got to press fire. And little did I know, you actually have to let them reload their guns. And that takes a long time. But the game refreshed, so who cares? But you go through the tutorial when you first start playing. So I don't really have to teach y'all anything about it. Then. Here we have Cruise Life. Now, Cruise Life? Hmm, I don't know. It's more like a role play game for new players. And some people might like it. It's kind of detailed. It's kind of. It's not so detailed. It's kind of like Brookhaven. I don't know. It's just kind of confusing at the same time. 
Oh, gosh. Oh. But anyways, uh, so then, ELC, yeah. This game cost 125 robots, and it's really good. I personally love this. This is like my hope and joy. And I'm going to show you how to just have fun in this game. So, pretty much, it's pretty easy. You become a citizen. You, you, you might have to look on a different guide. I'm going to post a guide for ERLC, aka Emergency Response Liberty County, one day. Because, like, this is, it's kind of... It's going to, like, take up half of the video. It's going to hit the, the, like, 20 minute mark. I don't want it to get too long. So, here we... Oh, God. Let's go deeper and deeper into my recently played. Hmm. Then we have SCP Devolved. This... It's probably the best and favorite game. You've wanted to play an SCP game, which ain't too detailed. There's chaos on, going on everywhere. And you can actually have a chance of escaping. And the SCPs ain't too scary. They are literally just... They are literally drawn by hand. Like, the dude who made this literally just got drawings and copied it onto his computer. So, yeah, here we have it. I'm just going to show you the pictures. Some classes cost money. Like, sorting classes. Like, high ranks. But if you just want to be, like, in an easy MTF or something, you can do that. Now, finally. You're probably wondering. What... The heck is all of these? Well, I'm going to show you my probably most favorite game. The only problem is the players. So, this might turn into two favorite games. So, first we have action. It's easy. You make a movie, and you can choose your role. Sometimes the director or, like, tech person role is full. And, yeah, it's pretty fun. The only thing is the players are dumb. They don't even read the script. And it ends up into like a big disaster. And they and I tell and if you're a director and you tell them their role, they're gonna be like, No, I wanna change my role. I already gave you your role. So then okay, well also remember, play Airport Tycoon. It's great, it's detailed. And some of we role play. Some of these servers are good, some of these servers are bad. So, first, the good servers, you may be asking, are the ones with actually normal people. They know how to roleplay, but then you have the other types, where they're just dumb. They don't even know how to put in a roleplay name, they don't even know how to get dressed, and they just sit there doing nothing. But anyway, this is your, this is your, your starting outfit. You can pick roles. Some of these roles you need game passes for. And yeah. So you can go pass. And then you have your little lone submarine. So. There we go. That's all. So that's all my favorite games. I hope you guys love this. And make sure to enjoy and play these games later on. Goodbye.